Here I have an Anna module triple XR module, which gives us three XR logic gates. Not only will this work as a logic module, those functions go right up through audio rate and it'll also pass your waveforms as well with the analog output. So we can look at CV modulation and processing for things like LFOs as well as audio rate waveforms. To start with, I'll look at how the unit works. An XR logic gate outputs high when either of the two inputs are high, but not when both are. I say output high as logic gates work with an on-off set of rules. The output is either high or low or one or zero, talking in binary terms. The rules here are if one of the inputs is high, i.e. above the threshold set by the module, it will also output high. So typically this will be used for clocks or gates to create pulses based on that logic type and the input. The added beauty of this module is that it's also got an analog output as well, which passes the waveforms and not just the on-off value. I'll start by taking a triangle wave LFO into input A on the first channel. You can see the signal is normaled across the module with the output from channel 1 going into input A on channel 2 and the output of channel 2 going to input A on channel 3. Adding in a second triangle wave to input B, this will mix and process these waves and act like a maximum minimum module where the output will always be the highest value between either input. Going to the gate output you can hear this on off rhythm that it creates. This is just modular in a bandpass filter, which is pre-spring reverb in my patch. And these are completely unsynced LFOs, and you can use the modules to mix and process your waves for new CV sources and modulation, or create new rhythms with a gate output. Here's an audio rate sine wave going into the first input and I'm taking the analog output. There's a nice additional bit of grit and dirt on that sine that works well to create extra thickness for something like a sub bass patch. Going from the analog output to the gate you'll hear the square waves based on that logic state on or off or high or low. Mixing in a second sine wave from another oscillator, and I'll start with that second oscillator down at LFO range. So you can hear ring mod and FM type sounds that it can create. two triangle waves instead of sine, which has slightly more grit to it. Here's two saw waves, and then a coarse tuning sweep of input B. Here's the gate output. Remember the output of channel 1 goes into input A on the second channel so I can process this further. Taking a signal into input 1 on the second channel, this will cut off the sound from the first channel. But taking that lead out, the normaling will still happen and then adding an additional signal to the second input on the second channel, we can process this further. Here's adjusting all the waveforms to the triangle waves and using the analog output. Sticking with audio rate processing, I'll look at creating something more dynamic. I've got two triangle waves into input A and B on the top channel and you're listening to the analog output. But I have the B input first going through a VCA which you can just see to the far left of the screen and I'll turn up that VCA so you can hear the sound change. I've got a 
saw wave LFO is a CV input to this VCA on the left, so turning up the CV attenuator will get the level modulation on the waveform going into input B, and you'll hear that sound start to modulate. I'll add some random fluctuations to the LFO rate that's opening up the VCA. And you can hear it's really easy to get some dynamic modulation by adjusting the levels going into the inputs on the triple XR. Here I'll look at using the triple XR for more common logic functions. An XR, as I've said, outputs a high value when either but not both inputs are high. So set up a patch to demonstrate that. To see more logic functions such as R, AND and flip flops, check out the logic logic video in the description. So I've got a times two of my main clock source going into input A and adding in a times four clock into input B, the first hit where both the times two and the times four hit together will be cancelled out and we'll just be left with the offbeat. You can think of input A, the times two, as a quarter note clock and the times four as an eighth note clock. Taking out input A, the quarter note clock, the output then plays all the eighth notes on the second input. By adding that back in, they then cancel each other out when both inputs hit together. Changing the pulse width of your clock source, you can create some overlapping and then generate some more interesting rhythms. Changing the 8th note to a times 8, which is considered a 16th note in this case, you can hear that the first one is missed out when the two hit together. So we get rest and then three 16th notes and that pan repeats. So the Animodule Triple XR is a really useful module that's great at not only the XR logic functions that it provides in a more typical logic sense, but also for mixing and processing waveforms for both CV modulation and also processing audio rate signals for all sorts of FM and ring mod style tones. Check out the other Animodule videos linked in the description and hit like and subscribe for more videos every week. And then finally check out the link and a little bit of blurb in the description for those of you that want to see how you can support the channel further.